sure know who it is by now. If not, your boy Mondo Raymore was cracking DBE, One Pride Rider Nation. Just coming out of y'all with some quick thoughts on some quick shit. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, let me say uh, peace to my bro Dante Chase, who, uh, you know, I watched Man Beast video last night and I talked to Chase for a second. Just hit him, he just hit me up earlier, let me know he at home. So, you know, I just told him, take it easy, get some rest. And I was watching Man Beast video and I could definitely attest to, you know what I'm saying? Find the whole family, you know, him and him and Chase being like actual fucking brothers. Because I, I know for a fact they talk on the regular. Because, you know, I talk with Chase and Man Beast and Hitman and Nomus more than anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to Nomus. I know he on vacation now. I didn't know at first. Yeah, me, me and Nomus, we talk a lot. Me and 313 Hitman, we talk a lot. Me and Dante and Boris, we talk. You know, I talk to Mr. HP on Facebook more than anything or Messenger because I know he got a whole another crazy schedule where he at. He doing big things in Texas. That's what's up. How you doing, Miss Highland Park? Shout out to you as well. Peace to the Ace Taker, wherever the fuck you are. What's good, CJ Smooth? Shout out to L East One LB. He was on 97.1. That's good for him. That's good. He got to get his point across before... His car drops. You know, me personally, you know what I'm saying? That's that's dope when, you know what I'm saying, we get to get our points across on other platforms. Because I know, I know what it is as far as 97.1. We all do, you know. And I'm just speaking on my behalf. I don't really, once again, shout out to my bro, bro, LB. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. This ain't a slight on him or shit on him or anything. But, you know, I don't, I don't give a fuck about 97.1. I hate that station. I hate the people on there. You know what I'm saying? We all know why. And LB knows why. So, Yo, Happy trails, J.D. Martinez. He was real hurt by being traded, you know. Yeah, that's crazy. But, you know, we got to keep in mind at the end of the day, you know, it's a business. And don't be surprised if he's back next year. Just don't. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I know it's hot than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to um, Lonzo Ball winning the Summer League MVP. The only thing crazy to me, you know, Michael Rappaport pointed this out. We ain't never talked about this shit. We ain't never talked about no Summer League or made a big deal out of it. Even LeBron played Summer League, you know. Melo played Summer League. Kobe played Summer League. Wait, that shit ain't never been heralded the way it is now. We're not going to be talking about it next year. We not, you know what I'm saying? For all you idiots on Facebook and to my bro, Ed Pretty, you know what I'm saying? I really wish y'all stopped twisting my fucking words up. I did not say, I ain't never said nothing bad about Lonzo. It's his dad I don't give a fuck about. And you're not going to convince me any different. And shout out to Ticket TV and Town Biz who just been ethering motherfuckers on that, on that note as well. And shout out to 313 Hitman, Global Enterprises. Yeah, they still in this bitch. They ain't went nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And who knows what the Pistons season got coming up. I have no idea what to expect. Good luck with that scenario. You know, y'all you, see it. You know what I'm saying? Bad boy alumnus over here. Other than that, it is what the fuck it is. You know, peace to the upcoming season for Detroit Red Wings. And apparently, Wolverines and Lions is the only thing we got to look forward to. You know what I'm saying? If all you trolls and bum-ass analysts and just bitch-ass motherfuckers relying on our past history and just think that's just who we is as a whole, it's cool. Put that out a second. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. We ain't the goddamn same Lions. Period. We're not those guys. And y'all motherfuckers, y'all, you know, you would think motherfuckers would have learned after next year. And these motherfuckers be like, well, you know what? Damn, they might not be the elite team, we think. But, yeah, they not really laughing stocks like they once were. No, of course we're not. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to prove it to y'all this year. And we're going to win a fucking playoff game. Yeah, I said it. So you can come on my, you know, whatever. And if we don't, I'm going to stand by my shit like I always do. Fuck you motherfuckers. Shit, <laughs> DVE, period. Fuck the NFL coon work. 
I never thought I'd say this. Fuck ESPN. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> y'all got some of the most stupidest people doing sports. And I want to send a very special fuck you to Nick. I never get it right. Get the fuck out of here, man. You're, you know, and Nick Wright is a smart guy. He's an intelligent guy. He's an accomplished analyst. Let me throw that out there. But other than that, you're a fucking idiot. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And last but not least, I want to say, you know, once again, I'm going to shout LB out one more again for moms being out. Moms is finally free. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't never really heard nothing in depth about the story, but I know he spoke on it a couple times back in the time. I mean, I even heard him say a couple things, but he never really got in depth and whatnot. So that's what's up. Other than that, man, shit, your boy just getting ready. I'm ready for football season. Does anything else you're talking about Detroit sports? It, at this point, this stage of time, it's fucking depressing. It is. I was just telling Morris that yesterday. You know what I'm saying? His comments. And you know, I like I said, I got the Lions going nine and seven, making a wild card appearance, and actually winning a wild card playoff game this year. Yeah, you can put that on me. And I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting on your little hate weeks and whatnot. And once again, you know, shout out to my homie Dante Chase. And he's gonna, like Morris said, he's gonna beat this shit. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna nip this shit in the bud. And that's just gonna be what the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? And what's good to my blunt brother, you should know one. Damn, I ain't even uh I ain't even big you up in a minute. I ain't even, I gotta catch up on my man videos. I know he's been making some shit. He ain't, he ain't been doing videos like he once consistently was, but he still be dropping videos and shit. I got to play catch up like a motherfucker. But shout out to my blunt brother. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my lovely sister, Mary Monroe, who's out there in Cali now. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nephew, Zai Kid. What's up, Nyla? All my nieces and nephews, little cousins. It's too many of y'all to be naming. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even got enough. I'm going to need two SD cards just to name all of y'all. But in any event, man, that was just a little quick thought on some shit. I ain't doing shit, just enjoying the off day, getting ready for my sister's birthday upcoming this weekend. And that's pretty much what I'm doing at the moment. But I just came to check in and say what's up with y'all. And I'm going to holler at y'all real soon. So it's your boy Mondo Ray Moore. This punk ass nigga right here, B Dub. Y'all know this nigga. The only reason I'm dissing him because this bitch ass nigga went to Magic City for a minute, didn't even tell a nigga. It's all good. So shout out to DBE, One Pride Riders, I'm out this bitch, peace.